Greetings, fellow viewers. And howdy, howdy. Here it is, the climax of chapter three. There, there cannot be much left <laughs> of this game in general. Right? Look. All the Master Quartz are level six. We know they max out at seven. Uh, of the items that you have to trade to get super powerful accessories, we have three of the four and you get one in every chapter. We gotta be pushing towards the climax <laughs> of the whole game, but we're definitely at the climax of chapter three. Let's do this. Speaking of the climax of chapter three, oh, yeah. we're the bittersweet gamers. We are, we are. I'm the opinionator. And I'm we squared. Good, I'm glad I got that rock trite. Lever pulled, lever pulled. And yes, just in case there's a one-on-one -on -one duel with Reen, it's fine. <laughs> I'm never going to fall for that again, and he's always going to be perfectly equipped. <laughs> At last, our path is clear. Let's go. Right! All right, we've done our part. Let's keep it up! Right, we need to support the other team. Uh-oh. This is... it's fog. Fog? Huh. Maybe from all the water that was shot up? From all the shells that landed in the sea? What's going on? It's starting to get foggy. <sighs> the seventh anguish of Ouroboros. Arian wrote, The Steel Maiden. She resembles every bit the woman we saw in Lohengrin Castle. Uh-huh. Indeed, I presumed the Gnomes Conspirators would raise their weapons for battle. Why didn't you think that the usual group of spunky kids was gonna come stop you? <laughs> that you would appear in their place is a surprise. Perhaps banging down the door is uncouth, but, well, this used to be my place. <laughs> it's only natural I'd see myself in. <laughs> I'm Aurelia Le Guin. It's a pleasure. I'm glad we were able to meet, Steel Maiden. I've heard your name, Golden Rakshasa. I know you as one who has mastered both the Vander and Arsaid styles of swordsmanship. But your reputation does you little justice. I too am delighted that you strike me as greater than the legend you left behind. Ego stroke, ego stroke, ego stroke. But seriously, Aurelia is a farking monster. <laughs> but I need to ask, why the helmet? We're done with our pleasantries. <laughs> Would you do me the honor of allowing me to see your face? Sad lot. I love how in Azure, when you fight her, the first 60 or 80,000 damage you do to her is to break the helmet. <laughs> and then after that... The fight begins. Yeah, and she's got like 140,000 or something ridiculous. How dare you! Oh, must we go through you first? All right, then. It seemed like the kids would be good enough to take you on. <laughs> Ouch! The Stallridder. We gotta deal with them again. Such a pain. But what else is new, I guess? <laughs> I like that determination of yours. I love it when she praises people she's about to fight. It actually cuts them down. <laughs> but you will step aside. I'm speaking to her. <laughs> know your place, Stallridder. <laughs> Very well. The Rakshasa isn't someone to be taken lightly. She is just doing all kinds of work! You fool! Only the strong may see the face of our illustrious lord! You need to prove your strength before you- It is fine. I don't mind. Oh! <laughs> just gonna take it off, okay! Jeez! Yep. She's so pretty! <laughs> The Lance Maiden, Leanne Sandlot. The legends weren't far off. Indeed. She's more beautiful than any legend or painting could replicate. I'm sure the same could be said of her skill with a lance. Yes, 
I expect much from your Crimson Blade as well. Duvali, Ines, Enea. You may fight with your strength uninhibited. Oh no! We're fighting all four of them? Yes, my lord! Oh no! <sighs> We're finally here! Whoa! <laughs> you made it! The Steel Maiden and the Golden Rakshasa. Ah! Uh. <laughs> What a wild day. We're about to see a fight unlike any other. I think we need to vacate the room! Uh, oh. No. Let us both use our full strength. Oh no! Oh, and we have to beat her too! Ah! I think we might be in trouble. Okay, so don't have to scan them again. That's actually good because I was like, I don't want to scan <laughs> poor guys! We don't get the kids brave orders. 153,000. Oh, that's so many HP. And 80 to everything, not really surprising. I am going to use Iron Will. <laughs> Form a Iron Will formation! That seems smart. Okay, huh. this is now out of the way. Not in my watch! Ready yourself! Well done. Uh. 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 Oh man! Damn you! <laughs> For the honor of the Skull Riddle! Uh oh <laughs> I'll clear the way! They're actually gonna do it, huh? Alright! Radiant Star Formation! Oh! Yes! That seems bad. Very well. Speed up and HP regeneration! For a long time. And Arian Rod is doing her usual flies all over the place. More like a freaking missile, frankly. I need to buff up, but I am going to do this. <laughs> Divine shield, protect us! Thunder of the roiling heavens. Fall to the battlefield! Oh gosh, that's right, that game all cancels. Ugh. Ah, it's sealed. And impedes. All right, all right, all right. Uh, that may mean that setting up is foolish. Since it's a zero arts turn, I'll go ahead and use Shining. I guess this means that I can't do something dumb like Ebencrest and then everyone S-Crafts. Well, no, because you don't have access to Ebencrest. That's why I say I can't do that, yes. <laughs> uh, if I set up, I'm just gonna get all cancelled again. Yeah. But if I don't set up, then you can't do anything. I am gonna try to set up one time. Good luck. I am not gonna try to set up Again. Arcus, activate! Yes! How's this? Ready yourself? Damn you! And all the delay? Yourself. Damn you! It's all you can do just to stay alive! There's not really even any point in my me, turn. like, abusing Eusus's anger and trying to drop an S-Craft. Yeah! Because the Stall Ritter keep healing! Yeah! Maybe you need to wait it out? Maybe that's what you do in the first part of this fight, is to just try and outlast him? Maybe. And I'm terrified to take down Iron Will. I don't blame you. Uh, I I don't know how to do a fight where I can't set up. <laughs> Not in my watch! Yeah, because yeah. yeah, if she just throws down that lightning bolt again, it's just going to cancel all set up, set up. Thanks. My thanks. Thanks. You set up, set up, set up. Not in my watch! Ready yourself. <laughs> uh, maybe I need to try and down her first. Like breaker, I'm gonna put her down, but oh, because if I go off Iron Will, they're just gonna blast you with all that damage. Ha! Ha! Self buff, go! Not in my watch. 
Yeah. Not on my watch. Too fast. <laughs> Thunder of Arcan the Boiling away. Heavens. Ball to the battlefield. Ah, there it goes. It's my turn. And on the seal. Part of me wants to just back out. And equip everyone with anti-seal. Yeah, or like re -curia at the very least. Yeah. Because nobody here has a good heal. It's not like I had Muse who could just be like, an all seal is gone. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, because otherwise this is just some awful losing battle. <laughs> Best to find out now. Take two. Now, let us both use our full strength. Now I am prepared. Let's go again. Basically, two characters have Oberon. One is sub and... One is the main. So 90% immunity to status. Right. And then the other character has a grail locket, and the other character has deep ochre, <laughs> which grail locket resists everything, deep ochre resists seal. So as long as I'm not getting sealed, then I should be able to fight. By the way, I am aware. If I wanted to, I could just equip Minotaurus on somebody like Reiner Gaius, and then the Domination Quartz begin by buffing their strength to full, then go Raging Fire and drop a Master Quartz for probably 70, 80,000 damage. But I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to. That would make the fights pretty boring. Certainly wouldn't be fun to watch. And besides, if I wanted to skip the fights entirely, which is what that strategy entails... Why would we play on Nightmare? Right. But yes, I'm aware it's an option, and I'm aware that it's going to kill probably every boss in the game pretty easily. And it's an option, we are not choosing. Brave Orders may be very broken, but they aren't so broken as to turn the battle system off. Right. Now, if you want to play that way and yeah. enjoy it, you go right ahead. Enjoy the game the way you want to and enjoy it as much as you can. But I cannot enjoy that. We will not be doing it. By the way, yeah. going through the scenes before the battle reminded me, there was a bunch of fog around Lohengrin Castle, wasn't there? You know, you're Leave right. I've forgotten that. And that's kind of where she was, uh... I guess she was there at one point, so it makes sense that maybe she might stay there, given her ties to the region. Well, I have no idea about anything like that, but that fog maybe does have something to do with Arianrod, or Sandlot, or something. Right. Okay, let's see if we can get some turns off. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I know that all cancel is coming, but I still feel like setting up a little is probably worth it. Arcus, activate! Yes. And since I won't have to worry about seal, Forma, mostly, iron will formation. Yes, then we can handle yes. it. But with that seal, it was just going to be this nightmare slog, since uh -huh. everyone's constantly getting hit by it. Like we had to deal with it. Not in my watch! Ready yourself! Good. <laughs> Foolish! For the honor of the Skull Riddle! This is really cool, though. <laughs> yeah! I'll clear the way! All right. It's ridiculous that it seems yeah. to make it look like Arian Rod is an easier target to take down than they are. <laughs> well, considering she's one person and they're three very strong people with such great teamwork and coordination, isn't that kind of the whole point that teamwork can kind of topple monsters? When okay, can, sure. When you consider like the link system and all that. It's just that Arian Rod is the other person who's kind of above everyone else. <laughs> so the fact that that teamwork makes it so that it might be easier to deal with her first. Yeah, because we could just can't do enough damage to the Stall Ritter to get keep up with their regeneration. At least not while somebody else is coming after us. <laughs> right? Sir! This one's on the hook! <sighs> Ready yourself. Take this. Foolish. <laughs> ah, that darn delay. God, here it comes go. again. Oh wait, she's gonna do her. Oh no. Well, there's a couple of reasons that I decided to bring Gaius to this battle. <laughs> Roaring winds. Sweep them away. I did have to sacrifice most of Reen's evasion, though. That hurts. Yes. <laughs> Ready yourself. Foolish. <laughs> 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 Take 
like this. Ow. Yeah. Now. We're doing much better. There. This is yeah. still really rough, though. Ugh, don't have impede. But I have to heal. <laughs> Live, Sarah! <laughs> Heavy divider! Woo! There it is! <laughs> oh no! No! Take this! You're finished! <laughs> <laughs> And of course, it's separated everyone. I'm gonna try something that might be really dumb. This sounds familiar. <laughs> I'm gonna use Gaius's Sacred Roar to power up, break damage, heal everybody from our current predicament. That's gonna get rid of all my brave points, it's true. Bellow! Sacred Roar! But now. I got this! I can use this shield potion to give 15 CP or 4 to Aurelia while also curing all the low stats. Oh. Hut. My thanks. Excellent. It's my turn. And then on that critical turn down there, bust out her S craft. Bust out her S craft. <laughs> All right, time to get serious. Uh, spirit unification. I was quite serious before. It's my thanks. turn. <laughs> Arcane. Uh, yeah. uh, now. There. Oh, good. Foolish. Take that. I need to get shining back up there too. There it is. Ow. Now, an opening. It's my turn. Bam. I like how we've almost got her broken. I love it. All right, so hit Arian Rod. Then S craft. Then S craft. Uh, <laughs> all right. You will face my blade. Your end comes. Ha! Rock shutter. Onslaught. Man, that's awesome! <laughs> that. Fuck it! All of you! It's my turn! There! Woo! Hey, Kurt, don't suppose you can holler over Windblade formation? <laughs> that sure would be nice, huh? Cease victory! Noble rise! That turned off all the Stall Ritter's buffs, too. Oh, oh good. Ha! Thunderbag! <laughs> now! An opening! Now, yeah. things are going our way. Sir. This one's on the house. Yeah. Here's our chance. An opening. Bang. Yeah. What? Let's go. Yeah. It's down. There. Yeah. <laughs> My blade, calm as still water. Now. <laughs> ha! Yeah. Uh, they're about to get back up. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I want to deal with that. Ha! Thunderbag! I see. So you've come this far. I got this! Please don't ask craft us! <laughs> oh, no, 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 First, I am going to go Iron Will. Sounds good. Because Arian Rod will be going in just a minute, and it's yep. going to be very bad and Forma. probably kill Iron us all. Will formation. Uh -huh. Most sure I got this. Which means if I'm about to just go down, I may as well go down in style. Anyway, what this will actually do is take out Dubly and Inus. Time to get a little serious. Ah! Something kind of poetic about her doing it here anyway. Make you feel all tingly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Impossible. Not bad. Now, if I don't die in this next move. Very well, but this is not yet over. To me, mighty. <laughs> it's 
It's my turn. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. Oh, she's got Brandish on too. Let's just uh, re-up this. I'd really prefer to attack, but it's not like I can stop it. Focus, activate! Huh. Gaze into the evil eye! No! You know, I'm out of cute tricks. <laughs> huh. Oh, nice! Now! There! Uh. Right. Will you survive this? I hope so! One person has Sophia, so one person will! Uh... <laughs> I am Steel! She who cuts through all! My goodness! <laughs> Jesus! This yeah. is your end! Oh yeah, I guess so! Grand Cross! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was good complacent. Enough. Oh, that was it's not nearly turn. as bad as I was worried about. That's with a 50% damage off. Yeah, like I said, not nearly as bad as I was worried about. Ugh. Resonate! Divine Song Formation! Terrific read! That's what it's here for! <laughs> yeah. Good God! Thanks. My thanks. Oh, that all? Oh no. She, she has a critical turn, David. I can't stop what I can't stop. Form up! Iron Will Formation! Remember when I said I couldn't stop what I couldn't stop? Yeah? Well, who are you kidding? Of course I can stop that. Uh, we meet again, yeah. Virtuoso Meat Pie. Seventh Slash! Fallen Leaves! <gasps> Thunder of the roiling heavens! Oh, she finally uses it when I don't Fall have anything else! Foolish! Ha ha! No no, 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 hey! Axel Arrow! Ready yourself? <laughs> I got this! Okay! We're still going! <laughs> I think it's time for another seraphic ring. I see 200 CP in a hard battle. I see a virtuoso meat pie. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now I could use my last two brave points for divine song and get out another seraphic ring. Maybe you should. With the 200 CP S craft, I'll probably nearly break her. Yeah, I think Gaius can whack her something. Yeah, not with very much, I guess. Thinking about it like that, shouldn't I just go ahead and do the S-Craft now? Then I still have time to figure out what to do if it doesn't work the way I want. Ah, yeah, that does sound good. And I still have two turns to not be killed. <laughs> okay, Sarah, do it again. Time to get a little serious. No, no, lightning! <laughs> I make you feel all tingly. <laughs> nope. Not yet. Just squeak out a little bit. Yeah, I definitely think Seraphic Ring is the way to go. Yeah, I'm gonna die if I don't do it. Mm -hmm. You don't suppose she's gonna S-Craft again, do you? I hope not, but I wouldn't put it past her. If that's the case, you better Seraphic Ring. Resonate! Divine Song Formation! No, without Iron Will, I'll be wiped out. Oh, that's a good point. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Hang in there just a little bit longer. And there! <laughs> I won't let you! Ready yourself! Foolish! Ah, go that. away! Yes! I don't know why I'm always spamming Chrono Drive in battles! Ready yourself! Well I was complacent. I can keep going! Because without Iron Will... Oh well! I'll just use Seraphic Ring! <laughs> You know, Millie, things are looking bad. That's an understatement. I can still cast Seraphic Ring with Divine Song, and I will. But you know what I can do first? Why, David, is it stuff a virtuoso meat pie down Reen's throat? Why, yes it is! And then panic S-Craft and hope that it breaks them, <laughs> because they're pretty far down. 
Sounds like a plan to me. And then I can still cast Seraphic Ring, so there's not really that much risk, but goodness, man. <laughs> However, this battle is as it should be. Yeah, I agree. Rain, eat I can keep the going. Meat. So we need to regroup. much meat. <laughs> so much panic S-crafting. Please break Arian Rod. <laughs> It'll definitely break Inea, but... Here we go. My blade, calm as still water. My stomach, full of meat! Now! <gasps> no! Almost! I can keep going! Ah, but now! Do you cast Seraphic Ring or break Arian Rod? I can't break Arian Rod, so I cast Seraphic Ring. Really? But she's almost broken. She's just like a sneeze away. Yeah, I can do 400 if I hit her with Gaius. Oh, okay. I know you want me to take crazy risk, and I know I kind of want to as well. <laughs> um, I bet she's going to enhance. Uh, of course she will. Thanks. My Good, it's just ultimate take favor. This. this is bad. You finish. Ah! Well done. She's not enhancing. Fooling. Ah! 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 It's my turn. Ah! 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 Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ah, forget Anaya. We yeah, gotta just take her down. Charge! <laughs> Here's our chance. And I'll play. Come on, come on. Panic S craft? Gaius has no S craft. Darn it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, got yeah. this. <laughs> we literally do not care, Anaya. Oria! This one's on the house! <laughs> now! And I'll play! It's my turn! So tantalizingly close! Iron Form Will! Up. Iron <laughs> Will Formation! Take this! Ha! Thunder yeah. Bang! Yes! <laughs> Impressive! <laughs> That's what you do with your turn! <laughs> Let's go! Time to die! <sighs> I live! <laughs> I yet live! <laughs> <laughs> Sit down! I let my guard down! <sighs> that was a good battle. That was rough! <laughs> that was a battle well fought! That's a lot of Master Quartz experience! <laughs> wow! I, now she's gonna get back up and I'm gonna have to have a duel or something. <laughs> okay, what now? Ho <sighs> hopefully it's just an eye on. Right? I also love how we spec to stop Anglican Hammer. I think she barely used it. Yeah, once. A battle between those who have reached the heights of skill. That was not disappointing. <laughs> no. <sighs> Still not enough. No, my lord. She was brought to her knees? Uh, th this is impossible! That's how you know it was serious, because she's not still standing. <laughs> what a battle. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked if this became one for the history books. I'll say. To be honest, I am surprised. A lot of things surprising you today. <laughs> oh, where's the gnomes? Why are you here? Oh, I've gotten beat up. I mean, she'll stand in a second. She's still got plenty in the tank, oh, I'm yeah. sure. Second win, whatnot. Yeah. You are stronger than I was in my previous life. <laughs> in my previous life. In other words, kind of admitting that she too, in fact, died. And was brought back somehow. So she must be in the same boat as the other people who have come back to life. <laughs> the victory is yours. <sighs> One on the back of many virtuoso pies. <laughs> she beat the Steel Maiden? Hey, you guys contributed too! <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm more experienced now than you were back then. <laughs> what an interesting way to say that! And this must be the pinnacle of my skill. Indeed. The only battlefield that lies beyond this is within the realm of the Great One. Cthulhu? That's what I was thinking. 
I suppose there's no more reason for Aurelia to be a warrior anymore. Why bother? She beat Arian Rod. She doesn't need to fight anymore and can just be a general or a politician <laughs> or get married and have kids like she was initially expecting. All right. No more achievement can be had. Now, I'm going to keep that realm of the Great One in mind. What? The Great One. Yeah, it seems an important plot point. We've heard this term before. Jokes about Cthulhu aside. Right, right. Wasn't it? from Loa Erebonius or maybe the ver the white one from the epilogue of CS2? I don't remember. We heard those same words in the Reverie Corridor. Yeah, it was from the white one in CS2. Thanks, Yusuf. Ashen Chevalier, Reen Schwarzer, and your associates as well. Are you prepared? Yeah, it's time for the ion fight. You bet we are! Yeah! This is it! I'm asking this of all my students. I'm asking this of each and every one of my friends and comrades here with me. All of you, please, fight with me! Yeah! yeah! Heed my call, Valimar the Ashen Knight! Excellent. We're ready, Tita. One Hector and a Kestrel. And a side of at the fries! <laughs> Acknowledged. Boost carrier, ignite! <laughs> Three, two, one, zero. Hector Mark II, Kestrel Beta, lift off! Yeah! There's not really anything else that a Roboros can throw at us other than just being in serious mm, mode now. Not bad. Right? Good luck, team. Gee, maybe, maybe after this, what we'll actually be confronting is the Black Workshop. That would make sense. They haven't really had a presence. And not really a Roboros at all. But it's like Aurelia said, that was, this is the pinnacle of my skill. It, how else are we going to have a more... Just like I was told. ...dramatic confrontation with a Roboros at this point? McBurn? We've already done that! I, I guess we have, yeah. It's even more vivid than it was during the Civil War. <laughs> I guess I'm in on it, too. <laughs> Let's go, Tilly! Understood. We'll give them all the strength we can. She's not arguing about the nickname. <laughs> Remember, that thing can manipulate space. We don't know what it's going to do. Just make sure to work as a team, and we'll get through it! Got it! Understood. Oh, yeah. This is excellent. This is what I'm going with right now. Other than keeping Milliam with the Kestrel, which is defensively weak, mm -hmm. hopefully it'll work. I tried to buff up defense a whole lot since these things usually hit like a ton of bricks or one might even say a giant robot. <laughs> Hopefully I can swap in Gaius to see what his ability does. And these are the orbs I'm using, which is pretty standard. Yeah. Survivability over offense. It's very important. In these battles. And they get the usual versus Ion buff and oh no. <laughs> Let's go. I'm sure we'll have to fight it for real afterwards though. Yeah. By the way, of course, the robot that warps space has Demon Bane's leg shield. If this thing Lemuria impacts us, I'm done. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, robots. It really does have Demon Bane's leg shields, though. Just, it does. just smaller. Yeah. Let's give those leg shields a good whop, shall we? <laughs> Darn! It busts a million hit points. Oh. And Reen's new craft, Helix, 
the Divine Knight version does inflict seal at 100%. Excellent. Yeah. There it is. Brother Chan, keep it up. No damage is My being turn. inflicted. <laughs> Hellheim Cannon. <laughs> Ooh. It's my turn. Oh. Could be worse. Could be worse. I'm hit those legs. Yeah. One of these days, it's gonna be those legs. It's my <laughs> turn. There it is. Strength and speed down L. Yeah. This was basically how you won Divine Knight battles in Cold Steel 2. It's my 2. turn. <laughs> okay, it's already got the full strength debuff, but it's only at one turn. This will make it two turns. As your wings shoot! Yeah! Whoa! Ah. Arg, go, go. I mean, it's, it's all my turn. so that wasn't so bad. I don't like grabby hands, so you can stop. <laughs> Use of spirit charge advised. I agree. Spirit! Now let's just give you a little bit of delay. Now, hate this! That's what you get for being careless. Now I want you to be debuffed. I believe I have made this clear. <laughs> As your wings shoot! Now's our chance! Huh? I'm trying to wait before the big attack, you know? Right. Aurora Cannon! That was pretty awesome. And when he's all debuffed, he's not so bad. That's true. Ah, space. And it debuffs strength. <laughs> space. Debuffs strength. Also, his arts defense are down. Seems good. <laughs> it's going to get serious and I'm going to cry. Me too. I'm up. Yeah, you can do your grabby hands or whatever then. Are you serious? Okay, okay. It's my but turn. It wasn't the Miria impact, but I was concerned. I still stuck out its shining right hand. It looked like it at first. <laughs> Ow! Might as well get the legs out of your system. Fair point! Shit. I feel better. No debuff is sad. As your wings shoot! Keep it up! I like the power of her My gun. Turn. The pow! Yeah, it's actually a solid slug. It's really satisfying. I'm, I'm the shooter guy, so I appreciate good gun aesthetics. Play it cautious. Get back! Oh yeah, I'm only supposed to get it to 70. Well, yeah. This isn't so bad. Yeah, well then it's gonna get serious. Well, it's gonna stop the fight, for one. That's what you get for being careless. Let's go! Keep really, it up! Really, all of this went way too well. I know, I'm very suspicious. By keeping its stats down, it's okay. just gonna joke. So at this point, I just rush him and take him out with a finisher. Yeah! Huh. Oh no! <laughs> Whoop! You got cocky! <laughs> Ow! Power diminishing. Use of spirit charge advised. <laughs> and he's just spamming the Hellheim cannon now. Dang it! The debuff is all gone, but I'll just put this one back. Look, everybody's coming up. Yeah. And all I have to do is take him down to 70. Huh. If I just get a finisher off, he's done. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go! Oh no, I hit the wrong button! Ah, oh, uh -huh. I still got him like this, though. I can't believe I hit the wrong button! Aurora <laughs> Cannon! You're a hubris. I deserve to be mocked. Either way, that's it for now. What's next? Oh! This is really bad! Are you drawing us into another dimension? Is it time to fight the Great One? 
Uh -oh. Oh, no. Oh. You stay back. Please leave this to us. Uh, what? Oh, thank God we got a full revive. Oh, I knew we would. I wonder what's up with Reen. Like, is he gonna do no damage now? He still got most of a yes. sword. Shoot the grabby hand! Uh oh! Don't shoot the grabby hand! <laughs> yeah! Um. Oh no! It's oh. my turn! Oh, this is bad! Uh, that's. So, Dynamis. He just used Dynamis Arrow, and then there's the Dynamis Master Quartz. Uh huh. Uh, that's Which actually. Is the space Master Quartz. Right. Uh, it's actually a Greek word. You would really spell it more like this. If I remember correctly, it's one of the powers and principalities mentioned in the New Testament. Oh! Uh, meaning it's an angel. I see, I see. Well, space is the holy element in Right. Trails. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting at here. Okay, he's back to normal. And we just can't attack him when he's doing that move, apparently. I I don't know. Let's see. Maybe either Valimar's the only one who can hit him, or it won't do much damage. Shit. Now! Yeah, very little it. damage. It's my turn. Because he's just whopping him with, like, a bar. <laughs> so now that it's warping space, its legs are its weakness, like Demon Bane's face warping leg shield. I'm just saying. There is literally nothing in common with that. <laughs> just like how the uh, new archaisms made by Smith have not been mobile suits. <laughs> ja! Remuria! Impacto! Oh, it killed the battery. <laughs> Spirit! Play it safe. Hit the right button. Let's go! All at once! He's not yeah. deep enough, but I'm sure I'll As have a chance wings, shoot. to build up brave points again. Yeah. It's mine! Get back! Yeah! Keep playing Spirit. it safe. Something approaches. Reed, be wary. Huh. Noted. <laughs> I'll just impede this. I think that's a good idea. You're mine! That's okay. You can do that all Let's you want. Let's go. Recharge. I do want to see what it's going to do, but let's go ahead and this will get it. a bit spicy. Fire! I just keep coming back to thundering roar because strength speed down L is really good. Especially since it's about to take a turn. Hut. Yeah, 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 magic missiles, whatever. Get out of here. I'll void breaker, mainly for the delay, but defense down is good. Now, hate this! Now, I could impede it, uh -huh. or I could actually use Helix. I guess we haven't seen it yet. That's true. It will seal him, and we'll see what that means for an ion. <laughs> There's 100 to seal, so this is gonna seal him. <laughs> Shit! Helix strike! It's down! An opening! It's my turn! Yeah, it just canceled his turn, basically. May not be exciting, but... No, Hiya! Ow! I got this. Dang it! Quit taking turns! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> well, let's... Oh. That's really bad. Whoa! Uh. 
Arg! Live, Ash, live! Power diminishing. Use of spirit charge advised. Jeez, and Reen's not even gonna get a turn before then? Power diminishing. Use of spirit charge advised. I know! <laughs> spirit! Use of spirit, spirit charge advised. Shut up already, I get it! Ah, it's gonna hit hard! <laughs> okay. Yes! Back to permanent debuff mode. <laughs> Never not debuff him. Just gotta endure. Jack! Oh, God! Shoot! Another chance! Come on, please be uh, enough! Before I can Ow. So close! I got this! Come on, Ash! Take this! Ah, the only safe thing to do is to just heal. Spirit! I just gotta endure a it's little my turn. longer. Okay, I can take this. You made the right call. Yeah! It sure hurt, but at this point, I just need to push forward, Hi. so this isn't safe. But he's so close! Yeah, he's so close! There's no way he's not going to be below it by the time he gets to his turn. Woo! Okay! Time for the next phase! God, what's it gonna do now? I actually like how the battle's being broken up, though. Are you seriously gonna hell? regenerate it? <laughs> The Arcuses are connecting everyone's strength! Oh yeah. my god! How do you do that? Everyone's hearts are with me. Now we can fight back! That is really interesting! That is awesome! Now we have to win! Yeah. Well, it ain't the leg, and it ain't the arm. And it may not be the body either, but I guess we really ought to get around to finding out. There we go! It's down! An opening! Excellent! Another chance! Aurora Cannon! My turn! Yeah. That just doesn't do enough, so if I build up to five... And then debuff his defense. Right. <laughs> Here come the Let's Hellfire go. Cannons. Hoping Power to get that fifth brave point. Use of spirit charge advised. That would have been really helpful, yeah. No, 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 stop it! Dang, I didn't get that fifth point, so I can't just do the unite attack now. Uh. Azure wings, shoot! Now the question is, can I break him? Maybe, maybe not. The strength is still down. No, well, in any case, if I go Void Breaker, mm -hmm. it'll move him down quite a ways, and it'll also hit his defense, so I can do the Unite Attack if I get it now, and if I don't, I'll have another chance. All right, that sounds good. Power diminishing. Use of Spirit Charge advised. Yes, I know it, bud. Do I ever know it. <laughs> Please do not fail. Huh. No! Power diminishing. Use of spirit charge advised. That is specifically the thing we ask you not to do. Okay. <gasps> Let's go. All at once. Yeah. Got it. As your wings shoot. And this should break it. It's mine. 
Just about got gotcha. I'm just getting started. Just getting started to spirit. use spirit. <laughs> it's my turn. Now in all seriousness, okay, I'm not sure I can do enough damage. Time to rush it. Here we go. We're gonna finish you off. Get back. Get a bit spicy. Fire! Let's go. Keep ah, it up. It's gonna be so close. I know. I got this. No, I think you got it. I think you got it. Yeah, you're right. Crush it! <laughs> now, hit this! Good noise. That's what you get for being careless. It's down! Gotcha! Huh. Uh, Remember how the first one of these, like yeah. against the blue ion, yeah. was barking Billy impossible? Over. Yeah! We've come a long way. All three of your stupid <laughs> ions are down! There's your experiment! What next? Dead already? Thanks for the two free heals in the middle of that battle. <laughs> okay, we've beaten Arian Rod. Brilliant! We've beaten the Ion. Anything else, or are you guys just gonna back off? Is the Grandmaster going to appear? Oh no. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Good job. Thank goodness. You're amazing, Muse. You did great too, Ash. Hmm. <laughs> That's as close to a compliment as you're gonna get. <laughs> Not bad. Hmm, yes. Their abilities were quite a sight to behold. Now, are you gonna be surprised the next time we oppose you? <laughs> Why? We keep winning! <sighs> They were all right, I suppose. The battle is settled. Ah, uh, soon duvely. Kind of like that, yes. Now, since you've lost, you owe us some answers. What? Perhaps we'll have you start by telling us about these experiments of yours. Hey, the loser has to do what the winner says. <laughs> it's true. What is their purpose? And what do you plan to do next? <sighs> true. Those are the questions of the day. You may as well ask the big ones. What are they gonna do? Say no? Okay, what'd you lose? Right? For sure. Why'd you go through all the trouble to fix up these old hunks of junk anyway? I don't know that I would characterize them quite like that, but okay. And what does taking back the Phantasmal Blaze plan even mean? <laughs> these ions shouldn't even be able to function. Their lips are sealed, but I'm sure Arian Rod will drop us a little hint. The original three can only use those miraculous powers they had as a result of Crossbell's artificial Septarian. Other than that, they were just flying weapons. Yeah. But she's just a normal human now. There's no one left who can create such miracles. Guys, why do you know all this? Though they weren't at full power, what made it possible for not one, but three of them to function like this? No, it was common knowledge. Oh, At least okay. among important people, we all talked about it in Crossbell. Okay, that's fair. Besides, Gaius has all the information he needs. <laughs> oh. Gaius? <laughs> what on earth? The graduates of Thor's Military Academy's Class 7 have become quite impressive indeed. Until next we meet. <laughs> There's nothing? Guys! Thank goodness you're all right. Well, we kicked their butt again. Th this is... Fog? It's just like Legrand. <laughs> just, just like you said before. To me, Agreon. Oh. She's going to use her Divine Knight? Oh, no! We knew she had one, and the Black Records mentioned Agreon, the, the <sighs> uh, Aurelic Knight or something like that. I don't believe it. What is this, my lord? Could that be? Again, like a transparent divine knight. Just like the other people who have come back to life. 
all have transparent divine night. Yeah. It moves just as she does. Ordeen, Zekker. Each experiment has borne fruit. Does that mean Osborne has one too? The time is near. Shall we hearken to the will of the abyss? Or shall we embark on a new route entirely? Huh. That's an interesting way to say that. We must reach a decision before much longer. We leave, Stall Ritter. <sighs> and they never knew about the Divine Knight, huh? Interesting. Let's go. We'll have time for questions later. Oh, yeah, she'll answer your questions. <laughs> no, that means she's had that thing for hundreds of years. Literally, I'm not surprised. I've been expecting her to have a Divine Knight. Right. Well, it has been a day. <laughs> what a day, starting from four in the morning. <laughs> Jeebus. The fog is clearing. Now, I have one little question. Just one? All right, you, you got me with that, okay? <laughs> but I have this question. Shall we hearken to the will of the abyss, or shall we embark on a new route entirely? What, pray tell, does that mean? Well, Vita's the Azure Abyss. There is no way Arian Rod is saying something cryptic about Vita. <laughs> Maybe the abyss has something to do with the story that has been written that the world is following? That's what I was about to say. Perhaps where one might find the Great One? Yeah. So is Arianrod perhaps saying, shall we fall into the darkness and be consumed by the Great One? A story that Vita was unable to change the ending to yet again? Or shall we embark on a new route entirely? <laughs> You, Billy obviously knows exactly what I'm saying, but ever since Vita brought it up, it just makes me wonder, is there a time loop? <laughs> you know, I haven't even really thought about it, but you're right. There's more than one similarity to stories that we've seen recently. By we, Billy means me and Billy. Yeah, like other games we have played recently. Just there's been more than a couple and they hadn't really been that present in Trails until this game. <laughs> but as we've been going through it, you know, I don't want to start comparing it to other stuff, that, like Trails to other things. That's right. not really what I'm talking about. But we have been not recording. Like, you know, isn't it funny how <laughs> X similarity is to this? I should like to point out that the things that it is similar to are very good. So it's, it's a good thing, you know? Uh, specifically what we're talking about is Demon Bane and Xenosaga. <laughs> And I've been like, am I just looking too deep into it? And I don't want to like really strongly assert it. Mm -hmm. But you see a line like this, shall we embark on a new route entirely? And it just makes you wonder. Uh, consider this too. The original three ions could only use those miraculous powers they had as a result of Crossbell's artificial septarian, Kia. But she's just a normal human now. There's no one left who can create such miracles. Though they weren't at full power, what made it possible for not one but three of them to function like this? Almost as if someone else with powers similar to Kia <laughs> was giving them, was feeding the Ions the same power that Kia did. In the Crossbell games, Kia is the artificial septarian of Mirage and has powers over causality and time. Mm -hmm. Mainly causality, but it's like, it's non-linear how, mm -hmm. how her abilities work. She can just wipe things from existence at the snap of a finger. Oh. But in Azure, you also find out that long ago, there was a Septarian of Mirage. Uh-huh. Presumably with the same powers as Kia. Makes sense. And she, and they specify she, seemed to decide that her powers would lead humanity to nothing but ruin, so the Septarian of Mirage sealed off her own abilities, much like Kia sealed off her abilities at the end of the incident, so that they could never be used again, so that she would not cause nothing but harm to humanity. Uh -huh. And when I saw that, I thought, wasn't well, that the Grandmaster of Ouroboros? So 
wouldn't the reason these ions can function... Because of the Grandmaster of Ouroboros? Yeah, she doesn't have her full power, so she can't make them do things like turn Gorelia Fortress off. <laughs> okay, vaporize things. Or, I'm sorry, wipe them from existence as though they had never been, because she gave them up. But maybe she ended up deciding that she needed them after all. And unsealed them, maybe? Or began some process to unseal them. Some process that requires an enormous amount of gathering data, by which I don't just mean the ion experiments, but all the other things that Ouroboros has been doing. For instance, the ions were clearly a big part of it, because oh, yeah. the whole point of Ouroboros' involvement in the Crossbells was just to get, just to keep ion type alpha. But in Sky, we see that whatever Weissman's personal goals may have been, right. at the end, Campanella's like, great, the Septarian of Space, I needed this. And then, then he leaves. And that was like the whole point of them actually being there, what the operation for the gospel plan was. Was to acquire the Septarian of Space. And don't forget that Mariabel Croyce, the person who manufactured Kia, the artificial Septarian, with those powers... Was recruited by Ouroboros. Was specifically scouted by Ouroboros. So now in Ouroboros, you have someone who can create another Kia. Uh-huh. And the Septarian of Space. Doesn't it kind of make sense that you might need someone who can create those powers to restore those powers? Yeah, that makes sense. And that's kind of what my theory about the Grandmaster is, is that she's just been around all this time and is a Septarian. That's crazy. Kia could make people do what she wanted, mm -hmm. okay? If she wanted you to act or react a certain way, she would subconsciously, or consciously, but she did it subconsciously, too, make you react that way. Oh. It doesn't require her to be like, oh, special magic powers <laughs> in the ritual, fa, and you fire the beam, and it makes them do what you want. She has power over causality. They just do what she wanted, with all the implications that entails. That's kind of terrifying. It's ultimate, unstoppable, irresistible power. The final boss of Azure just deletes the battle if it takes too long, and then you lose. That's Whoa! The thing. So there's no way that the series can have something bigger than that without it being like the same thing, right? Yeah, no, you're right. That's kind of what I was thinking. We've already seen the Septarian of Mirage, or artificial, and space. What higher element is left? Time. Ah. Now about time... <sighs> Yeah, you know, obviously I've been dropping massive crossbell spoilers, so I'm going to continue doing it. At this point, it's relevant. So it goes. And this may be kind of bad for you too, Billy, who has yet to play the crossbell games, but in Zero, in the prologue, uh -huh. it starts with the characters getting to the final dungeon, the four members of the SSS. Uh-huh. Then the prologue is over after you walk around a bit and they talk a bit. You know, it's like the prologue to Cold yeah. Steel 1 or this game, but it was explicitly the final dungeon. But it's just those four, just, just Lloyd, Ellie, Tio, and Randy. When you get there in Zero, uh -huh. in the actual game, you also have Joshua and Estelle when you get to that point. No, come to think of it, isn't that the same way the prologues to Cold Steel 1 and 3 have started? There's been different people in the prologues than who is actually there. It's been two people every time who have been missing. In Cold Steel 1, when you actually get to it... Milliam and Crow! And then, in Cold Steel 3, when you actually get there, it's Aurelia and Angelica. Now consider this, what Kia tells you near the end. Yeah, I can see the look on your face. You're, you're seeing where I'm coming from. When you get to the point where Kia talks about this, she says, Lloyd, I'm sorry, but the last time you died, I had, <laughs> I had to make sure that you had people who could help you. You did not originally get involved with Joshua and Estelle and the Bracers at all, but I made it happen. Is there some reason? <gasps> okay, consider. If, if Aurelia Le Guin were not here, oh my God! Arian Rod would have killed us all, or at least stopped us, and that would have been it. We wouldn't have been able to stop the Ion. You're right. If Crow hadn't been at Gorelia Fortress in Cold Steel 1, Reen and Crow and Class 7 wouldn't have this bond, this bond that's clearly going to be important. Oh! Why is it that in three games you see this, two people are missing? It's a clue! 
The clue is that it's actually happening that way, not just starting media and rest. Oh, that's amazing! And that's what makes me think it's a time loop, especially when Vita says what she did at the end of the last chapter. And then this! And what Arian Rod says here. Shall we hearken to the will of the abyss? Your death? Like, the loss of the world or whatever it means? Or shall we do something brand new? Something brand new where Aurelia Le Guin is here, where Joshua and Estelle were there, where Crow was there. This too is the will of causality. Maybe literally. <laughs> Maybe literally the will of causality. Dang! And so that's what these simple similarities with other stories have led me to see. Now look, maybe I'm entirely wrong, and that's fine if I'm wrong. But that's something to think about, isn't it? I'm not pulling it out of nowhere. <laughs> we have gotten a couple of clues. So thus is what I think about the plot of Trails and the Grandmaster of Ouroboros. And since I started to think that, more evidence has come <laughs> into that side of the ledger. <laughs> that was... Do we have any readings on the radar? Agate! Agate, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good to see you're hanging in there too. Come on, no putting on the waterworks. I swear, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you both did great. Sheesh, look at those little lovebirds. Meanwhile, Erica Russell launches nuclear missiles. <laughs> <sighs> Just as I thought. Poor Wayne. <laughs> I'll need to report this to the prince. <laughs> oh, Tandy the spy! Oh, no! Ah, uh -huh. we didn't even get oh. to do anything. Yes? Why is it that everyone keeps saying, I didn't expect you to be here? If it's a time loop, maybe they've done it before. That could explain and why that's... certain people are aware. And... Especially the ones who've been alive longer. Like, and... and they're the ones who are responding in surprise to things being different. Oh. What's the plan, boss? <laughs> Let's grab some drinks with Nidhogg. <laughs> they didn't get paid, so it'll be on me. Maybe play a card game or something. You two go ahead and let them know. Got it. What about you? Oh, pass. That's cold. It's been ages since we last hung out. But they have hung out. Of course they have, because we know who it is! Oh, well. See you later. You guys used to hang out. Oh, come <laughs> on. Oh, no, I guess... Rutger was dead for this. Yeah, I forgot about that. Who knows? <laughs> Again. Having all these battles stolen out from under me is starting to make me lose my edge. Maybe fighting someone just like me will keep me sharp. Uh oh What do you say? Good thing that I still have Reen fully <laughs> equipped. He's not jankily equipped this time. No, he is jankily equipped because I changed everything to try and dodge Seal. Oh god, you're right. Why does this always happen? I think he's talking about Rutger, though. Someone just like me. Someone who died and came back. You're probably right. I was thinking that he might have been very specifically talking about Reen, because they are pretty similar. That's true. But Reen hasn't died. That we know of. I mean, maybe that bear killed him when he was a kid. Maybe the bear did kill him when he was a kid, but nonetheless, he wasn't an Awakener at that time. That's true. And unlike the other resurrected people, his Divine Knight is not transparent. That's true. Plus, there's that line at the end. What do you say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like when we first saw Rutger Zector. It was illusionary, too. Well, I just of. thought it was like a stealth mode. Yeah. But then we've seen Ordeen like normal and post-death Ordeen was transparent. Okay, so I thought maybe that's a stealth mode. It, it, you know, it, it could be like that still. These guys sneak around the edges, right? Mm -hmm. But then we see <laughs> Agriot. Yeah, Agriot. And it's transparent too, so I'm like, okay, that's it. It's, that's what happens when you die. It can be as men or as knights. <laughs> sure. It's a date. Ooh. <laughs> 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 
Uh huh. Yeah, she's <laughs> pissed. You got some slaying to do, son. One of these days, you're gonna get tied down, <laughs> just knocked around until you spill all the beans. Hmm, interesting. This is exactly like the relationship between the Orbal Network and oh Pleroma Grassing Crossbell. Are you effing kidding me? What? The relationship between the Orbal Network and Pleroma Grass? Are we just, like, really going to dig into specific aspects of the stories that Billy and I were talking about before? <laughs> I'm not gonna bother explaining it, but you know what I'm saying. The UMN, yes. Oh my god! How specific is this? <laughs> this is such a specific similarity. <laughs> it can't all, we can't be entirely wrong about all of it. And now the same phenomenon is occurring here, but on a larger scale. There must be something more to the Divine Knights and his experiments. And his experiment, says Schmidt. Yeah, yeah. Specifically talking about Franz Reinfurt. Saying it so familiarly like that means he's referring to his old student, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And if not, it's an awfully big coincidence how all these things line up. You know, everything we've said about Franz in the past. Mm -hmm. Brigadier General Bardius's leadership restored the security of Ortis and its surrounding areas in swift order. Aurelia, too, stepped forward to assist in quelling the rising chaos... And her presence is a presence that cows everyone. Yes, that is correct. Thusly, when she is trying to be inspiring, it is also effective. The branch campus, the guild, Milliam, and Gaius did whatever was asked of them in the field, while Eusis and Angelica cooperated with Marquis High Arms and Patrick to clean up the more political side of the commotion, which I would sure really love to see. <laughs> Marcus Ballad was freed, of course. And subsequently arrested. <laughs> he acted the part of an angry buffoon, shouting at whoever came across him left and right, but no one cared to listen. <laughs> his clout is gone. Yeah. In fact, all they did was begin to question his unjust use of the Unified Region's army. They blamed him, correctly, <laughs> for both the railway cannons and Juno. That evening... Nah, it's a shame Aurelia's not here still. Then we're in agreement. Yes, you should be kicked out. The Duke out. may have avoided the death penalty, yes. However, knowing his crimes, it is safe to say he will be unable to resume his position. That is why we must welcome the next Duke. You say. <laughs> In order to ensure the survival of the nobility, we must work together as the four great houses once more. <laughs> what, what is it? Nobody cares. Although, to be quite fair, we must work together as the four great houses once more. We must. He's absolutely right about that. You do understand that I am the only worthy successor, yes? Really taking that tone after everything? Recent circumstances and the discovery that you used public funds for personal use cannot be overlooked. The leaders, lasting and acting, of the four great houses have made a decision. Marquis Ballard, you will be dismissed as a candidate to become the next Duke Cayenne. Nina, Nina, Nina. <laughs> Exactly as we foretold. <laughs> well, they drop all these clues. Oh, yeah. You just have to pay attention to them. <clears throat> Please enter. What's her name? Yeah, what's her real name? Excuse me. Is it Mildia? I don't really have a reason for saying that, but I know it's Mill something. Uh huh. Uh huh. Quick show of hands. Who's surprised? And with Aurelia in tow, which is Who what I've been is saying this, this whole child? time. That one of the reasons she's going to be able to achieve this type of stature is with Aurelia's help and and her backing, and she was conveniently not here for this for the council and was here in a different circumstance where she had an enormous amount of clout. Perhaps if there is something like a time loop, if we're right about that, perhaps originally Marquis Ballad did become the next Duke Cayenne. Hmm. I have a very burning question: How did her hair get longer? She didn't seem to have it up. 
No? In fact, she was often playing with it. <laughs> Time, space, and causality <laughs> are mysterious things. I did hear General Le Guin was visiting the province. What is this? Where have I seen her? Was she wearing a short hair wig to conceal her long hair? Uh, Can you do that? Well, I mean, that does happen in anime often, but... <laughs> yeah, see, it's obviously short! <laughs> what? Y you're that girl! That's why she wasn't recognized, because her hair was shorter. Duchess Mildeen! <laughs> I am the niece of the reigning Duke Cayenne. My full name is Mildine Usalith de Cayenne. <laughs> Have you missed me, great uncle? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, bother. By the way, you said some horrible things to me before. <laughs> <laughs> she is Lord Alfred's daughter. Yeah, the one everyone liked. The mm -hmm. current Duke Cayenne's older brother. May he rest in peace after his loss at sea. You're ah! making a mockery of this council! You're one to talk. I will not accept this! You're the mockery of this council! If I may, everyone please cast your vote. <laughs> Does anyone here object to nominating young Lady Mildeen as the next Duchess Cayenne? I am in favor. Yeah. She just has the support no of so many people mm -hmm. and has so many things to her credit. And everyone else is just so against Ballad. Everyone hated Ballad. Man, I'm pretty happy. On the political side, it played out just as we said it. <laughs> To begin with, I would like to add two new topics of discussion to this council. The pressure we're facing from the government, as well as their plans for after the Summer Festival. We must determine how to counter their plan to invade Calvert and put a stop to the National Mobilization Act. Whoa, what? Agreed. We must put a stop to that. And so, now... The four great houses, the, the nobility, and even the provincial armies, or what's left of them, now we're on their side, <laughs> against Osborne's party. Works for me. It was a short visit, but a beneficial one all the same. But now I'm afraid I must take my leave. I trust you're ready to head back on your own. We ended up staying a day longer than we intended, but we should still make it back in time. I need to head back myself. I need to begin my analysis as soon as possible. Make sure you've got those samples sorted out before we get there, fourth disciple. <laughs> right! All right, General. I wish you a safe journey. I'll see you again soon. Of course. We can exchange stories then. Farewell, everyone. Rally away! <sighs> that woman is a storm unto herself. <laughs> Man, Dilly, how do you survive having her as a principal? I've gotten used to it. She seems so refreshed. <laughs> Wonder what has her in such high spirits. <laughs> well, she did get her chance to cross swords with the Maiden. And although in terms of the battle, presumably you would call it a tie, the Maiden credited her with the win. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Which I imagine helped her gain some closure for her part in the Northern War. Oh. You may be on to something. She was seeking as much closure as Northern was. Yeah. It's not like she approved of what she did. What Aurelia Le Guin did was to reunite the country. It was her part in it, and she did that. And then when facing against Northern, she, without any questions, gave them exactly 
what they wanted. She took all of their anger and resentment and just faced it head on. She did not deny it. She let them hate her. I suppose that is how a swordsman would find closure. I can't see any better way for our beloved principal. Is it really okay for you to still be here in school? <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that you are, but it is okay, right? By the way, Muse, where did you and the principal go last night? Oh, that's right. You did go out together. Guys, you need to read the <laughs> farting newspapers. <laughs> Oh, we merely stopped by my family's home to say hello. Countess Le Guin and my grandfather have been friends for many years. Oh, that's right. I see. So that's why we see you talking to her every so often, huh? Huh. Mmm. <laughs> I ain't buying it. Well played, Muse. After the events of yesterday, it feels like we're walking a tightrope. One way or another, we just need to keep an eye on her. She must have been wearing a wig to the council. Maybe so. You guys must have a lot of time on your hands to be bothering me here. Be nice. They came all this way just to see us off. Don't let the sister go away crying, okay? <laughs> uh, it's no problem. Before the big lunch rush, anyway. Okay, Ash. Be sure to stay out of trouble, go to class, and stop spending so many nights on the town. If anything, you should go out a little more often. Find yourself some loser to sweep you off your feet. I'm trying to talk to him. <laughs> Why you? <laughs> be good, Ash. Class 7, you be sure to take care of him now, you hear? <laughs> hey! <laughs> of course. He's our classmate, after all. We might not be able to fix his behavior, but we should at least be able to keep him from getting any worse. That's a miracle in and of itself. I hate all of you. No, you don't. Give me a break already. <laughs> Shut up. I really like Sister Ulfa. <laughs> you take care too, Muse. Remember not to overwork yourself. Things are only going to get tougher. I'm looking forward to our next visit already. Me too. Grandfather, grandmother, be well. So I guess it's just not all out. Yeah. Like they haven't revealed the connection yet. We'll be sure to take good care of your granddaughter. As her instructor, I promise to support her as best I can. My. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Well, young lady, it sounds like I might have a new grandson-in-law next time you come home. Jeez, Grandfather, you'll scare him off, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I promise to welcome him into the family with open arms. Uh, that's really not what I meant by supporter, but why do I even fight it anymore? <laughs> Sheesh, what a family. <laughs> Allow me to thank you once more for everything you've done for us. Getting Juno back was no easy task, but thanks to the branch campus, we were able to keep our losses to a minimum. Thank you for the kind words, Brigadier General. But you're selling yourself short! Facing off against a blazing demon alone and living to tell the tale is no mean feat. True words have never been spoken. Ha! I was just keeping him busy. Yes, by yourself, <laughs> and you didn't lose. While he was powered up. Yeah! I'm hardly a scratch on Lord Arsade. That man's skill is truly terrifying. You're plenty scary yourself, Wallace. Truly, the right hand of the Golden Rakshasa. No shortage of impressive folks in the Empire, huh? I'd like to extend my thanks to all of you, Thors, Provincial Army, and Guild alike, for your work both here and in Sutherland. Especially you, students of the Branch Campus. I wouldn't be surprised if the Emperor himself commended you. I'm surprised he hasn't! really think so? Uh, guys! <laughs> you know what you're doing? <laughs> what you have already done? Emperor Eugen III. That would be quite an honor. The Emperor, huh? What's he like? Never seen him in person. He's a great man and an excellent ruler, possessed of both integrity and intelligence. And no practical power, and seems to not exert himself <laughs> in any way on the stage. Now, I don't know if that's actually what his role is supposed to be in the government, but that is what we've seen. 
Yeah. If I may change topics, let's talk about Ouroboros. Yes, let's! I hate to do it, but it's gone on long enough. I know, this episode's already gonna be so long. So, we're just gonna can it here, and we'll get to the beginning of the next chapter, and this next topic, next time! <laughs>